Okay, again, this is part of a series. There should be an annotation on the screen leading to the playlist. I recommend, if you haven't, watching uh, the first two videos. This is the third in the series. Now, today's tutorial is going to show you how to do something, um, and you might go, uh, I'm not going to give you like a real good scenario for it now, but this is stuff we're going to use in the future. It might make more sense in the future, but I want to show you how to do it now. First things first, let's cut out the text file we've been playing with. This is a text file I made just for these tutorials. It just has some random stuff in it. And uh, real quick, let's do something we learned in the first tutorial just to modify it a little bit. I'm using a dash I to say that I'm not just changing the output, but actually modifying the file. And I'm going to change all uh, t lowercase t's to capital T's. Uh, and then I have to tell it which file I want to modify, which is the text file. So now if I cat out text, you can see I changed from before everything was a lowercase t. Now we have all these capital T's. Okay, so what we're going to work today with is, is how to just give it a regular expression to say look at all numbers or I'll look at all letters or look at all alphanumeric uh, characters, uh, look at all capital letters, look at all lowercase letters. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with today. So if I say said, and uh, again, we've got inside our uh, single quotes here a S for substitute, G means global, which means we're modifying all instances that we're looking for. I can say uh, inside square brackets here uh, 0 9, meaning look at all uh, numeric. Uh, characters and I can say replace every numeric character so we're not looking at alpha characters we're not looking at letters in the alphabet we're looking at numbers uh, and replace them with an asterisk and that's within the text file and again there's no dash I here so we're not modifying the file just changing the output and you can see everywhere that there was a uh, number there is now an asterisk now I can do the same thing with a dash Z and, but since I'm doing a lowercase a and a lowercase c, I'm only going to be modifying lowercase characters. So all those capital T's we made earlier won't be affected. But all lowercase characters should be asterisks now. Boom. Now, of course, I can change this to a capital A and a capital Z and hit enter. And you can see now it's only affecting the capital letters. Now we could go a dash Z. Uh, this is not going to change all lowercase and capital letters. Let's hit enter and you can see that the only place it changed was right there because this is what this is telling it is to look for a lowercase letter followed by an uppercase letter. Not looking for this and that. We're looking for this and that together. So if we want to do uh, all lowercase and all capital letters. Uh, you could do this, and we can say A dash Z, capital A dash capital Z, and that will get it. I also think, and I didn't text test this, but I'm pretty sure if we just do lowercase to capital Z, no, that does not work. Let me try something else capital A to lowercase c. Okay, that works. And the reason that the lower the capital A to the lowercase z works and the capital A or lowercase a to the capital Z does not work, uh, I believe, is because if you actually look at ASCII an ASCII chart and look at characters, capital letters come first. So you in the first one you're asking asking it to go start in the middle and go back to the beginning, uh, not from the beginning to end or end to the beginning. But in the second one we're going everything. So you can do it this way or this way. This way is a little bit shorter. We can also after that say 0-9 and that will get all capital and lowercase letters as well as all numeric characters. So everything but our spaces and new line characters in this instance are being replaced. I would not be surprised and I haven't tried this yet if we could do something like this. No, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm kind of making stuff up now. Uh, zero through capital Z. There we go. And if we did a lowercase z, since lowercase, there we go. So that's actually another shortcut. If we went uh, zero dash z, lowercase z, that will replace all letters and all numbers, both capital and lowercase. If we wanted to just replace uh, 
numbers and capital letters we do through Z. You can also do part of the alphabet. So we could say here A through H. So anything A through H will be replaced. We can also start halfway through. We can say M through Z. And it's replacing everything, in this case, lowercase, M through Z. Uh, and of course, you could do the same thing with capital letters. We only have capital T's, so I'm not going to bother showing that. You can do the same thing with numbers, though. We can say 0 through 4. Uh, let's do through 4. And now 0 through 4 are being replaced. And the 5 is not because 5 is outside of 4. Um, so a uh, few different ways of doing stuff. Let's quickly review. We'll just scroll up here. Uh, just want to replace capital letters? You show us A through Z there. Replace just lowercase letters, A through Z, lowercase. Just numbers, 0 9. Again, you can also do uh, lowercase A and Z, uppercase A and Z, but as I showed you, a shorter way of writing that is capital A through capital Z. And of course, if you were to do like a capital M there, it would do all uppercase letters and half of the lowercase letters. Um, and uh, we can do all letters and numbers, both cases this way, or a shorter way would be um, zero through uh, lowercase z would get them all. Um, but you can kind of see the pattern there. There were a few things I actually tried here that I hadn't tried before, but I thought would work, and they did, which is happy. Um, and again, it's if you want to replace a, you know, this is a lowercase string followed by an uppercase string. You can also do letters. Like if I wanted to, let's do this. We'll say replace all um, capital letters that are followed by an I. So here we it replaced the T and the I because it's looking for both those things and replacing it with that. It's not looking for one or the other, it's looking for the two together. And the only place where there's a capital letter followed by an I was the word tiny. And uh, of course, you can go um, any place where there is a, oh, there I don't have it, I was gonna say any anything, any number followed by a letter But we don't have any instance of that because all our numbers are separated by spaces. But if we had a number followed by a letter with no spaces, that would accomplish that. And again, we were just replacing them with uh, asterisks here, but you can replace them with uh, whatever you want. So there we replace the T and the I in tiny uh, with those letters. So um, I hope you found that useful. And again, we'll be using uh, some of these things in future tutorials. So keep on watching. This is a series we're working on for a couple of weeks on SED. Uh, so come back next Monday. I also have videos other days of the week, uh, currently on Wednesday and Fridays on uh, other topics. But Mondays are our shell script or general Linux operating system tutorials. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these on SED because we've got some more to come. Very useful tool. A lot of us know that, I, like myself, know the basics of it. I'm learning a little bit more just to get familiar with it. And as I'm learning, I'm sharing it with you. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Check out the annotation on the screen for the playlist. And I hope that you have a great day.